Hi, it's Friday, June 1st. My name is Victoria Ballant, and you're watching Axe Series News Broadcast. We will begin with technical analysis. Up first is the euro dollar. Price fell below daily pivot, which is indicating objective at S1 support. But it seems price could rebound from this level or possible earlier to retest daily pivot. Further fall below support will be indicating next target at S2 support, and decline will continue, or if the rise will be staying next objective could be at R1 resistance, and in this case it will be probably consolidate. Based on the conclusions for each indicator in chart analysis, we are expecting a bearish trend. Now let's move on to another currency pair with the dollar-yen analysis. Price after falling below daily pivot is now testing this level for upward move confirmation, but it seems price will rebound and focus on support S1. But if price holds near daily pivot, it will be indicating consolidation, and after that we can expect rise towards resistance R1. The conclusion made by X-rays is an indicator show a bearish trend today. After that, we have the sterling dollar outlook. It seems price will continue in decline towards S1 support, where it could rebound and retest daily pivot. If price holds below daily pivot, consolidation will be underway, but rise above will be indicating objective at R1 resistance. The summary of our indicators show a bearish trend. Our last technical analysis is about the dollar franc pair. Price was able to break above daily pivot, and it is now approaching resistance R1. Further rise above this level will be indicating next target at R2 resistance. But if price will be limited at first resistance and subsequently, it will retest daily pivot upward move may be completed. The vast majority of our indicators in chart analysis for the dollar franc show a bullish trend. Our first news for today concerns Swiss retail sales, which will be released at 8.15 a.m. GMT. It is expected rise by 3.6% compared to previous rise of 4.2%. Also, it will have a high impact on the franc. Next news will be released at 9.30 a.m. GMT. Market is going to publish figures about manufacturing PMI in Britain. In the previous report, PMI rose 50.5 points, while now is expected fall to 49.7 points. Readings above 50 are indicating industry expansion. Figures below indicates industry contraction. In addition, a high impact on sterling can be awaited. The Bureau of Labor Statistics will publish at 1.30 p.m. GMT monthly figures about U.S. non-farm employment change. In the previous survey, employment rose 115,000 and now is expected high rise of 151,000. Analysts are expecting a high impact on the dollar. Next news will also have a high impact on the dollar. The same bureau as in the previous news is going to release statistics about unemployment rate in the U.S. at 1.30 p.m. GMT. It is expected unemployment rate will remain at 8.1% as in the previous month. Our last news for today will be reported at 3 p.m. GMT. The Institute for Sup Supply Management is going to publish new numbers about manufacturing PMI, which is expected to rise 54.0 points like in the previous month. Moreover, it will have a high impact on the dollar. We have almost reached the end of our broadcast. You can now see on your screen three tables about the best traders and trading strategies on Xray, giving you the opportunity to join them. In Mirror Trader, we could see significant gains in both Glimpsy strategies, which both rose over 1,000 pips. Third Adaptive System strategy remained unchanged. In Multi Trader, India Rose replaced FX Multiplier at first place when it added 3.48%, while FX Multiplier fell 6.41% in the monthly gain. Low Risk Invest also fell, but only 1.51%. The biggest gain, 72%, was recorded in Trade Leaders, where LW Trading confirmed its first position. Join Jang and Whitestone Asset remained the same as yesterday. And on this date in 1831, James Clark Ross discovered the North Magnetic Pole. Thanks for watching X-Series News Broadcast. Have a profitable day, and we'll see you on Monday.